Hello, we are the Fit Kids and we're making a PE kit so you are ready for PE activities and games. Stay strong everybody. I love PE from Ms. Esparza's PE Place. The Fit Kids have a challenge for you. With your parents' permission, find all of the things around your house you can play with or make something to play with and possibly a basket or a box to store them in for your PE kit. What do you already have around your house? Do you have any balls, tennis balls, baseballs, soccer balls, basketballs, jump rope, hula hoop, hockey puck? Just things that you already have. What do you have around your house? Do you have stuffed animals also? Gather them with your parents' permission. This is what the Fit Kids found around their house. They found all kinds of stuff. Look at the pictures and see what they got. They found so many different pieces of equipment. But if you don't have any equipment at home, you can make your own. And they work so great. Sock balls, paper balls, plastic bag balls, a hoodie ball. You can use stuffed animals. You can make your own t-shirt drum rope. You can find boxes or baskets. You can make a cardboard cutout, paper plate, target. You can make hanky scarves, homemade bean bags. And sometimes all you need is some plastic bags and some tape. Quick, easy paper ball. Take a piece of paper. Crunch it into a little tiny ball. I already crunched up another piece. Take that piece of paper, crunch it up in there, like that. It's a done. You can make it bigger if you'd like. Take another piece of paper. This ball works great for a it also. And you can also use it against the wall. Woohoo! Good job, everybody. Making your own plastic bag tape ball. This is one of my favorite balls I've made so far. Two grocery bags. Bunch them all up in a ball. Take some masking tape, any kind of tape. I have blue painter's tape here. Whatever kind of tape you have at home. It doesn't matter. Scotch tape. Um, masking tape, duct tape, whatever you have. And you just take the tape and you wrap it all the way around that ball. So it's all covered. Wrap it up around till it's all covered in tape. <clears throat> Just keep doing that until it looks like this. This ball is great for bop it, playing catch, for juggling. Also, for throwing against the wall. That is so good. Woohoo! Good job, everybody. You can even make a homemade bean bag. Fill up a sock with beans. Tie that sock up in a knot. Cut off the rest. We have your own bean bags. Woohoo! You can play so many things with this bean bag. You can even make your own bandana scarves. You just cut this into four pieces right in the middle, make it into four pieces, and then you have juggling scarves. They work perfect. Hi and welcome to Craft Care. I'm Diane and on today's episode we'll be making recycled t-shirt jump ropes which are easy enough for kids to make and fun for them to play with. So let's get started. First you'll need t-shirt yarn which is just made out of fabric. We'll show you how to do that a little later. So you'll need old t-shirts and you'll also need scissors for cutting up your t-shirts and it's good to have a tape measure so you know your lengths. So first you start cutting a t-shirt just at the bottom, you cut about two inches wide. You see I'm stretching it out, you want about that kind of thickness for making your jump ropes. So we're just going to cut all around in a circle, all the way up the t-shirt, and we go round and round. And you'll see as we pull it, it makes a nice fabric and we can twist it up into a ball. So real simple to make your fabric yarn. You can find t-shirts at thrift shops, you can get them from, you know, tell family and friends if they have old t-shirts give them to you. All right, so then we'll measure out our t-shirt yarn into about nine foot sections. We found that nine foot sections works pretty good to make a good size jump rope for a child. And then just clip that off. So we're going to do that with three different strands. So here we're taking blue, yellow, and green. And we're going to just tie the end together, just a simple knot. 
pull that knot really, really tight. And then I just kind of push it up to the end. I pull on each individually to make sure. And now I just cut the other two colors to match. So that way they're all the same length. So I just measure out the first one and cut the others to match the length. Then you just simply start braiding. So it's just a simple three braid. Now the one thing you'll notice because you are dealing with really long nine foot strands of yarn, they will get knotted at the bottom. So about every three braids, I will pull through the strand so that they don't get all knotted up at the bottom. So, but you'll learn as you go what works best for you. Now sometimes even though you tied them off or you cut them off to the right lengths, the way they stretch out as you braid, one will be shorter. So when you get to the shortest one, that's gonna be your end. We make a knot like we did at the beginning. Pull that really, really tight. And then we're just going to pull that knot down to the end, make it tight, clip off those extra ends. And we have a completed jump rope. So there you go. You can see it's all pretty colors. You can use all the same color of yarn if you'd like. And then if you want to, as an extra tip, if you run out and say, well, I only have a four foot piece of fabric yarn, this is how you'll attach other pieces of fabric. So you cut a little hole in the end of one, a little hole in the end of the other piece that you want to attach. Then you will put the one strand through the hole of the other strand. And then that second color, you will put that through the hole of the blue strand. So you see we've got our two strands. So the yellow went through the blue and the blue went through the yellow and it just pulls together like that. And now you can make a longer strand because of course you will end up with smaller pieces sometimes. Then I just kind of fold them up. I'll take an extra piece of my fabric yarn. You can use a rubber band, whatever you have, and tie them up into a nice little pack. And there you have it. You have your cute little jump rope. We also like to add a little tag. If you're doing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes, these jump ropes may be going to countries where they can't read English and aren't sure what to do with the rope. So we put in a cute little tag with a girl or a boy jumping rope to show them what to do with their new gift. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and please comment down below and let me know on a scale of one to five what you thought of this craft. And remember, if you want to see more simple craft ideas, hit that subscribe button. You can even make your own targets. I took a paper plate and make a target. I took a cardboard and made a whole target so I can throw things into it, hang it off of something. And I made my box that has my PE kit that I'm going to put all my PE equipment. I can put all the things I've made plus other things that I have around in the house. This is my PE kit. I have a Stay strong, stay positive. Do